<laughs> Alright, well. Where can we head now? Is there anything that is unlocked anywhere? If I'm going to check the, uh, the boathouse. Because... I know there is more to this boathouse than uh, that has actually happened. Nope, there is absolutely nothing there. What about the woods? Although I highly doubt it. If this fails, then I'm going to have to go and present stuff to Larry. Yeah, I'm going to have to present stuff to Larry and see if he uh, has anything to say on anything. What do you have to say about this Gordy uh, article? A article about the monster sighted at Gord Lake. That is just your generic, uh, that's just your generic, uh, I don't have anything to say about this kind of uh, text, isn't it? Ah, there we go. What's this? You know, my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, the first was blurry, Larry. It was taken last night. Last night? Okay, that was interesting. Hey, Larry, you know this guy? Who's this? I don't know. That's why I asked you. <laughs> Who's this, Maya? Well... Oh wait, Maya said she had seen it before, didn't she? I have no idea. Lots of camera. It's a camera. You take pictures with it. Huh? Larry, you mean you don't know what a camera is? This doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> of course I know! Hey, you're looking at bona fide junior high graduates. I was talking about the weird contraption on the front of the camera. Oh, that. It's hard to explain, just forget about it. <laughs> just forget about it, Larry, it's fine. Huh? Oh, that's your returning patch, isn't it? Dude, you really helped me out back in that trial. Sorry, I can't really pay you. Still not been paid. Because <laughs> we're on Keanu. But you can have all the dogs you want. Yay! Larry, <laughs> if you let her at your dogs, you won't have any left for the other customers. <laughs> hey, no problem, if that's what makes her happy, you know. How many times do I have to remind you that it was me who got you off the hook? <laughs> well, I can have all the hot dogs I want as well, oh jeez. Well, I've been given the Gordy article for free, so I guess that's kind of like payment of a million dollars, right? So I, actually, I kind of think I would change a little bit. There is absolutely nothing going on, though. Nobody seems to have unlocked anywhere. Nothing seems to be new anywhere. Oh, hello. Ellipses. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Ellipses. Can you show me that autopsy report once more? Oh, is she going to tell us who the picture is? Ellipses. Ellipses. Further ellipses. Hey, I remember now. This guy. This is a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office. Wait. You eat Grossberg's office? Right, that guy! That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for all time's sake. Grossberg? Grossberg's gonna be something to do with this trial now. Let's go, let's go pay him a visit, I suppose. December 25th, Grossberg Law Offices. <coughs> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. <laughs> Aha! You're Mia's something, are you not? I was understood, yes. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Aha! And you're, you're Mia's uh, something too, are you not? A little sister, yes. You've grown! You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon. You see. I'm Mr. Grossbeck, sir. Huh? Uh, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Is something the matter? Uh, you've still not managed to get that painting back. Or, you know, managed to get a painting to fit in its place. Let's talk about the painting. That's the most important part here. That's the most important thing. Don't care about this case. I care about that painting. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh yes, I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't say the same it is stolen. I suppose it's by just desserts. Old bitter desserts. Aw, oh, poor Grossberg. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I uh, just got up, you see. Miles Edwards shot someone with a pistol. Allegedly. He's just saying it as fact now. Edgeworth? What? Who? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. I guess, I guess he hadn't heard anything. Well, I guess I need to show him the uh, autopsy report. He, he should be able to identify whoever the heck it is. Huh? Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. You f Did he not work here? <laughs> ah! 
Did you remember? He was a lawyer! Here in my office! That's Hammond! Richard Hammond! That doesn't look anything like Richard Hammond, Grossberg. I think you're lying. Mr. Hammond! How'd you say this is the Bad Mouth Edgeworth shot? Yes, it is. Do you have somebody to talk to us about now? Well, that's, at least that's the man that is, uh, that's, that's been found dead. Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? Well, he presents Top Gear! <laughs> Mr. Hammond! He was a defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6. Why does that sound so familiar? <laughs> I think that is something that has been alluded to in the past. Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss, they used a spirit medium. In orange text. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? In orange text? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay, in orange text. Your mother constituted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. Aw, oh, so sad. Tell me more about the DL6 incident. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never called the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. Ellipses. And the police played my mother calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes. Ye yes, quite. Thank you. No, but please. Don't mention it. Ellipses. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait. What does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was not other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. Da da da! Oh my god, the shock and horror! <laughs> and his father was in orange text! What? His father? Ellipses. If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. That's a picture of Misty Fay, isn't it? This is a photograph of my mother. And it's a photograph of Misty Fay. Misty Fay's photo. This is the second time we've had that as evidence. That one, that's the very same thing as evidence. And uh, suddenly, very suddenly, the music has gotten very dramatic. Let's head to the detention center. Edgeworth, you want to talk to me now? I've got something to show you. December 25th, a detention center, a visitor's room. What's this? I was hoping you got my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defence? Uh, please. It's no concern of yours. Guess you have the phone anyone yet. Oh, Edgeworth, we have something to show you. I have a picture of Misty Fay. <laughs> Ellipsy. Oh, he looks look at that smile. Edgeworth, you need to turn that frown upside down into an upside down frown. You really do. Reference <laughs> Ellipses. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? But the DLC, D the DLC incident, the downloadable content incident. Right, DLC, downloadable content. I need more to find out about this. That is why I refused your offer to def defend me. I'm sorry if it, if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from de downloadable content. Uh, I, I completely understand. I, I, I completely understand that you want to keep people away from downloadable content. Downloadable content is a, pro pro a pretty horrible thing in the gaming industry at the moment. Especially from the companies that abuse it. So, do you still think it would be better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like and I will answer to the best of my abilities. All right, let's ask him about downloadable content. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about the downloadable content incident. Yeah, that's what this incident is going to be known as from now on. Apparently, <laughs> the downloadable content incident was when my father died. Da da da! Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed, and I saw it all. Ellipses. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, the suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the, one who, the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Richard Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond. 
<laughs> and how it is a victim of the Gold Lake murder? Correct. Um, that spirit medium. That was my mom. What? You mean your? Uh, please. It's strange. I thought the terrible incident was about to end, and now this. About to end in Irish text? The DLC incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. What a coincidence. <laughs> December 28th? The statute of limitations on cases runs out in, on the case runs out to three days. What? Uh, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, downloadable content will be closed forever. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, we only have three days to close the downloadable content case. Otherwise, never happened. The end. Whoever did it will get away with it. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. What about your father? Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was... Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So he was sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. Ellipses. I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> you said you'd answer all our questions to the best of your abilities, dang it. Uh, is there anything that we can present to you? Like, for example... Uh, I, guess, I guess the photo would be a good thing to present. Humph. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? Ellipses. Music has gone very quiet. What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Ellipses. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you. Yes, will you? Of course we won't! It's obvious that you did it! Oh, uh. Fine. <laughs> Ah, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. Eh, there's a bit more going on in their backstory than I think they're letting on. My letter of request, please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Okay, we will do. <laughs> well, I guess we should. Huh? What's that? Earthquake? It's a big one! Wah! It's coming down! Phew! That was scary! Huh? Where's Edgeworth? Ellipses! There! He's on the floor in a ball, shivering! I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Miss Rangers doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. That was an entirely pointless scene. Entirely designed. To show that Edgeworth is scared of earthquakes. Fair enough. <laughs> you know when something like that happens, it's going to be very important, and they want you to forget about it. We have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Oh my god, he's actually just still on the floor crying, and that's why we can't see him. <laughs> that's just funny. Alright, let us go to Gumshoe. December 25th, Police Department Criminal Affairs. What's going on here? Eek! What's wrong, Detective? What, what, what's wrong, Detective? Sorry, my voice went very, uh, very girly then. I, I don't know what happened. This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to you all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Miss Rachel the death sentence, pal? Because we need more people in court to testify so that we can make them strip up. That's just basic lawyering, uh, gumshoe. Seriously, I th I'd have thought you'd have known about this by now. Phoenix Wright's one style is to make the witnesses talk and talk and talk until they say something stupid. No, not at all. Just, uh, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Ugh. You trying to say something about the way I do my job? <laughs> oh, we've made him angry. Alright, all right, let's make him happy. Let's make him happy. Come on, Gumshoe. We will defend Edgeworth. 
We will defend him to the hills. We will defend him until the end of his life. Which might not be very far away if he gets a death sentence. But, I'm, you know, still... <laughs> Look what I got. Lipsies. How you did it, pal? Not a way until the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip up and start new ones for you. Nice, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey, you guys feel an earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth is a little bit, um... Earthquophobic? I don't know what earthquake is in Greek. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to go check on him. You two go eat to gr get your rest for a trial. Later. Okie dokie. Fun fact, I've only ever felt two earthquakes in my life. One was when I went to Greece. And one was actually in England. There was actually an earthquake around Manchester. Which is so rare. <laughs> it's not so rare that we get like earthquakes. But it's so rare that it's actually possible to feel them. Random fact for you then. <laughs> I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth's earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Da da da, to be continued. This was a long investigation section. Like I said, we're in the fourth case of the game. We are theoretically over halfway through the game. I'd say the halfway point is probably supposed to be the end of the third uh, case. However, in the fourth case, the parts teams tend to get quite long. Because so far, in, in the second and third case, I've been averaging about 45 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, per investigation or trial section. Whereas here, this has taken me about like an hour at least. <laughs> so... I'm not sure how long the rest of the trials and the rest of the investigation is going to take. <sighs> but basically, it's going to start getting longer and longer from here on out. I've been Nurse. This has been Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. When we return, we're going to court. I shall see you in court, guys. And hopefully we have enough to go off. Enough evidence to go off. That we can at least try and hint at the fact that it wasn't Edgeworth. Quite who it was, I have absolutely no idea, but you know, details. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the internet. 